Okay, so my video today is on making paper roses out of using our Pansy Punch from Stampin' Up. So you need to cut five flowers. And I did some prep work here so you don't have to watch because it gets a little boring just watching that. But you're going to take them. Now you don't have to do this step, but on some of them, it shows better on the yellow ones. Um, I inked. Now the, for the two most inner petals, I ink both top and bottom. This is actually the last back petal. Then you want to take your scissors and cut in, not all the way to the center, but we want to elongate those petals a little bit. Not quite as much on the back two petals as you did on the middle ones, but you'll see when you're working with it. The other thing you need is a paintbrush just for the end. So we're going to take the petals and roll them so we get a little curve going here on each petal. And I like to do all this before I get started gluing because once you get gluing you know how hot glue guns are, they're messy. Because you're going to use a hot glue gun as opposed to the normal wet glue we use for cards and other stuff. Alright, so there's those two. And we have one more petal, or the set of petals that we're going to curl inward like this. And then the last two, I'll show you, they curl a little different. Okay. So on these last two, I'm going to take it and bend the petal up and then curl it back. Up, curl it under. And just be careful you don't get too energetic with this. I've ripped a petal right off before. Not, you know, if it's an inner petal, it doesn't matter so much. I just glue it together anyway. So there is my setup. I just use a little cheaper weight cardstock, not my Stampin' Up cardstock, because you, you know, you want to be able to bend the paper a little bit better. So on the first one here, hopefully my glue is hot. There we go. I'm going to put a little bit of glue there and I'm going to take one of the petals on the opposite side and stick those together. We want the bud to be pretty tight in the in the beginning here. Okay. Put some Oops, I hope I'm still I'm probably out of the screen. It's so concentrated on what I'm doing, I forget to stay put. Okay. And then you're going to fold that around. So you can see I'm getting a, a nice little center for my flower going here. Next one. Once you get the first part started, the rest of it can glue together pretty fast. Ooh, ah, hot. Now watch out. It's hot glue. I don't have the low temp glue. <laughs> I just have the hot. Okay, next one. So I put a little glue on the bottom and I'm going to stick that in the middle. And just keep it going. Another. And they actually, once you get them set up and going, it goes pretty fast. Oops. Oof, I'm getting glue everywhere. I try not to get it so much up on the top because then they look messy when you're done. Oh, gosh. Stringy glue. Spider webs. Sorry, if you're listening to just the clink clacky noise. I haven't been up that long. I'm not awake enough to have a conversation. But I wanted to do this before I 
lot noisy around here. I'm sure the dogs will want to go out pretty soon. I'm surprised they haven't started barking at the neighbors. I think he was out walking their dogs. Okay, so now I'm going to stick this to one of the ones with the back vent pedals. Now we're still going to glue these up a little bit. Sorry, out of the picture. Okay. Almost there. I'm still going to add just a smidge. Oops. Hot, 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 hot. Mm. Okay, so once that is kind of set, I can try cleaning off the edges a little bit. And then I just go in here. And again, kind of bend the petals back again. Some of them. The ones up at the top, you know, you, you can kind of work with a little bit to make it look like it's just opening up. Probably isn't my best one. I got those petals. But it's still cute. I mean, there you go. Ta da! So, again, quick, easy project. I mean, it's the transformation is pretty amazing. Um, I've used them on top of little gift boxes. Um, Whatever you can come up with, I mean, they're they're awful thick to like put on a card. You'd have to be boxing the card; it wouldn't fit in an envelope. But you could still use it that way if you so wanted to. But anyway, mostly I've just used them for little decorations on top of gift boxes. But I thought they were awful cute, and that's my tutorial for today. Hope you enjoyed it.